Hello guys, today we're gonna make a laminated brioche, delicious and very easy to do, but it's a bit time consuming because you have to fold it several times with butter, but the result is there, it's a melted brioche and very fondant, it's really delicious. Um, okay, so what I've done here, I've done a kilo of flour, I've put 30 grams of fresh yeast, 150 grams of caster sugar and uh, 20 grams of salt. In that little pot, I have already 150 grams of milk and I'm gonna top it up with 400 grams of eggs. So that's about eight eggs. So we're gonna make this dough, let it rest for an hour, and then we're gonna roll it with the butter. Milk and eggs, all the liquids together, goes first into the mixing bowl. All the dry ingredients, and I'm just gonna add 150 butter. There you go. Small diced. That's not the only butter because after. We're gonna have to uh, roll the dough with 500 grams of butter. <laughs> so rich, but so good. Alright. Hook. And we're gonna mix it until it forms a nice dough which unstick the bowl nice and smooth. So we start 5 minutes first speed and probably 5 7 minutes second speed. Okay, there you go guys, this has been 5 minutes now, so I'm gonna scrape it and put it another minute. Okay, nicely scraped, let's turn it on again. There you go, we got our bowl. Let's take it out. Okay, we're gonna shape it as a nice and firm bowl. There you go. Just like that. And we're gonna let it rest in the fridge for a good hour. Little cloth. There you go. Voila! That's been one hour resting. It has rise a little bit, but hardened on the same time. Because of the butter inside, so it hardened. So that's good. We're gonna get ready our butter now. This one on the bench, flour. <clears throat> so we need 500 gram butter for this quantity. So basically we want a square of butter of one centimeter thick. And this one will roll it rectangle shape. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut those in half. Get a parchment paper. Square. Just like that, yeah? Now a bit of flour. And I'm gonna bang it to flat it up.
Okay, that's pretty flat. I'm just gonna roll it even now. Okay, this is ready. Now the dough. We're just gonna roll it rectangle. Better inside, fold both sides. Join the dough together. Here we leave it open and here we leave it open. So now we're just gonna press it so the butter combined with the dough a bit. Let's start for it. We'll get on that side, nice and even. Okay, <laughs> let's finish that quickly. So you fold one third in <clears throat> and the other third on top. Yeah. And now we're gonna finish. We're gonna roll it one more time. more elastic so it's gonna need its, its rest yeah all right so one more fold one third and the other third on top then if you want some people even for croissant they cut here so you can cut one third cut the other third and you stack them on top of each other, the same. So what that creates is to have a better edge, open edge with the butter, so you'll have a very good lamination always through. Because sometimes if you fold, fold, like I've just done previously, there will be some part which there will be like thick dough, butter, it won't be regular. But it works the same way, you know what? It's just to be a bit fussy. <laughs> and when it wants his back to have the beautiful lamination, you know? So, this is, has been twice folded. So I'm gonna mark it with my finger, I put two dots. So I know it has been folded twice. And I'm gonna do it four times. So after the rest, roll it one more time. Fold, fold. Roll it one more time, fold, fold, rest, and then you roll and you do whatever you want with the dough. Alright, so after a good half hour rest in the fridge, let's roll it again.
All right, so nearly there. Should we fold it or should we cut it? Let's cut it. I'm gonna mark it first. So one third, one third. layers okay so that's my third rolling I put three marks and I'm gonna rest it before roll it one more time so it has time to rest because it is getting more and more elastic every time we layer we doing the layering okay in the fridge 20 minutes should be fine Last turn! Getting there. Alright, cool. So this is beautiful. Hard work, but the resultat is great. There you go. Let's remove the elasticity. Are you lifting up the dough like that? Should we cut it? <laughs> This time, I'm just gonna trim the edge here. <clears throat> and there, okay. So, up. So, I'll mark it. Cut one third. Cut one third. Those little babies, I'm gonna put it inside. Hidden. everywhere just to make to have a nice and uniform block <clears throat> we're gonna let it rest in the fridge one more time before roll it for good and shape it the way we like there you go so when you put your um, dough to rest in the fridge Maybe cover it with a cling film or a cloth just to avoid um, the dough to dry at the top. If it dries, it might crack when you roll it. Ah, there you go, guys. Some sunshine. <laughs> See, it's not that bad, UK. <laughs> right, okay, final roll. You won't believe. <laughs> See, there's no more sun, and <laughs> now it's raining. Oh no. One time sunny, one time no sunny, one time sunny, one time raining, one time sunny. Alright, cool. So I think. Half centimeter thick. Okay. There. 
so what I'm doing personally here so see this little trimmings you can do some little ribbons little ribbons like that Myself, I'm just holding this one. I'm sticking the edge, I'm sc scratching the pastry to get it a bit sticky so I can close it and stick here. So, this I'm gonna cut slices like that and put it into a mold okay so I'm prepping my molds a little bit of butter just because there is not enough butter yet <laughs> right so those little ribbon or trimmings Put them together in the mold. Same with this one. The sausage, cut it in like one centimeter. This one weighs 60 grams. So it's perfect for an individual size. There. So we're gonna let put those little babies. And this one, I'm just gonna reserve them in a freezer, clean film, put it in the freezer, and when I want some, take out the sausage, let it have defrost, slice it, put it in your mold, let it prove, no problem. So it's like a little prep in my freezer. So the little brioche has proved now. I was thinking to let them prove above my oven yesterday, but the weather is so cold, um, that it didn't work <laughs> so I left them all night in this room and now they are very well proved could do with a little bit more to be fair so I just turn on my oven at 30 degree and um, put them in for just a little while to react the proving and uh, yeah so now we're gonna egg wash them Little egg wash. I like to put demerara sugar on top to give a bit of crunch. All right, oven. Hundred seventy-five here. Hundred seventy-five. Hundred eighty. All good. There you go, guys. Oh, beautiful. Nice and golden. Okay, let's see. For trimmings, it's not too bad, isn't it? Looks pretty good. See the layers here? The flaky layers? Let's see one of those. This is so light. Right, they cool down. Let's try it, shall we? Mm, that little beauty. Go. very light and fluffy inside and flaky on the outside it's all flaky mm. the inside is so fluffy and so light it melts And the shell 
of that brioche is very um, very flaky and the top is crunched with the sugar. It's perfect. I like it. Enjoy guys!